Hello, this is Miss Tracy from K-12 Next Generation, and we've been building kites. I thought maybe you'd enjoy building it with us, and so I'm going to show you the steps. Today, the first step is going to be making these 3D triangles. You notice that this kite is all made of triangles. Some triangles all the way through. So we actually make the 3D triangle. Okay. And if you look closely, you'll see that there are two here in the front, and one here in the back, and one on top. So there's three, four of these triangles to make the one kite. And to make each triangle, you have to have six straws. So that's our first question is, well, how many straws do we have to have to make the kite? If we have to have four triangles, and you have to have six straws in each triangle, then four times six is 24. So to make the whole kite, you need 24 straws. And I'm going to show you how to make one of those triangles. So I need to do that six straws. Here are my six straws. And I need a long piece of thread. This is about, it, this is actually about three feet eight inches. You probably can do it with a three, three and a half foot piece of string. I just tend to go a little big to make sure that I don't run out. Okay. And then I have another one that's a foot. And I made this with a floral wire and it just has a little eye here and I made sure that when I designed it that it went all the way through okay? so I wasn't going to have to monkey around much with it. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to put this piece aside and take this long one and I'm going to try and get it through the eye here okay? and I'm going to first take the three straws and put them onto the string. And you have to be careful because if you're not watching what you're doing, they go on this end of the string and they go off the other end of the string. This has happened many times. You just have to kind of watch what you're doing and make sure that you don't let it go off the string. So here I've got them all on the string with the other. Okay. Make a nice line when they're all laid out like this. So I'm going to pull it down a little bit to the end of my string. And now I'm going to take and I'm going to tie this end to this end. You still have that needle on the on the far end there. I'm going to tie these two together. And I want to tie it pretty tightly because this is going to be the frame to my kite. And if it's weak, then it will break very easily in the wind. <clears throat> and if I'm going to spend the time to make something, I want it to last. Okay? So when I took the, those three and then I tied them together, now I have a triangle. And I still have the other end attached to my wire. So I'm going to take and string two more, two more of the straws onto here. Now you have to make sure when you have the straws, if you get bendy straws, you've got to cut that bendy part off. Dunkin' Donuts makes really good straws. They make good culottes too. The straws are perfect. Right now I have these two attached to the triangle. And I can see how I want my colors to go. Or do I want my colors to go this way? Maybe I like my colors to go this way. You notice I have to put this on one of the flat sides. It can go here, or it can go here, because the end result that I want is the diamond or the two, the two uh, triangles to make that diamond. 
so I have to tie this on the opposite end over here. And if you notice, I have plenty of string, which is why I say you can get by with just a, a three and a half feet, I think would be plenty. And I'm going to again tie this tightly. Make sure that it's not going to come apart. We actually have made a couple of different types of kites, sort of like this one the best. All right, so there we have our two triangles, and together they make a diamond. And I'm going to just trim off string here and here. Don't suppose you should all use your mother's kitchen scissors. That's what I'm using and they don't cut well at all. So do we have that. Now I'm going to take that foot long piece of string and I'm going to Again, string it onto the eye of this and take my single straw and string that so that I have on either side now the string hanging out. And I want to take the string and the straw and I want to tie this side to this point. Okay, taking the left side and tying it to the left point of the straw. Do that first. And most of the time when I do this, the string comes off the straw, the straw comes off the string, and I have to string it up again. And that's okay. Um, when you get, you say you're really good at it, you may just tie one end of the string on first, and then put the straw on. But this also helps you see what you're doing this way. I'm just going to tie it one more time. Give it straw. Okay. And now I'm going to take this piece and tie it where? That's right, I'm going to tie it to this point. And when I tie it to that point, look at what happens. What happens when I tie it to the other point of that diamond? Now I have my 3D triangle, so let's tie this down. And again, I'm going to trim this off. Trim this off. And there you go. There is your first 3D triangle. And it doesn't take long at all. You get your supplies together to begin with, which is your six straws, and your long piece of string of three and a half feet, and your shorter one of a foot, and something to pull it through. And it takes just a little bit to make this. And you want to make a total of four of these to make the cut. And I'll be back tomorrow after you've gotten your four frames made show you your next stop, your next point in how to make your kite. I'll see you then.